Hello and welcome to week 30 of a 52 week series for the Web Pro on what every web administrator needs to know to be successful in this space. My name is Scott Forsyth and today I want to talk to you about the IS Share configuration and actually this is the third week in a row I've talked about it and what I want to talk about is a staggered install. Many installs don't work with the shared configuration there and they shouldn't, there's good reason for it. And so what we want to be able to do is show how to do a shared or a staggered install and uh, across these nodes. And it's actually very useful, anyone that manages a web farm of this type. And this doesn't just apply to IS share config, it's a, a lot of universal principles I'll be covering. But we want to take a look at this and how we're going to do it. So first off, i uh, explain a little bit more. Uh, the last five weeks I've been talking about a mini, a mini sub-series of this year worth of lessons and on web farms. And so we've covered the IS share config and how to keep it in sync. Uh, I'd encourage you to watch the previous weeks if you haven't seen them to cover this. And so I'm going to jump right in, assume that you're already familiar with setting up the share configuration. So what I want to show you here is just how we would do that staggered install. So first let me show you the environment. And we have two servers. We have the one I call the DC. And it's just the first one of two that we have set up in this test environment and a couple sites set up, Contoso 2 it's called in this case. And if we go to our share configuration, and notice we have the share configuration in the INET pub, the IS share config, and this is currently enabled. And the other server is set up exactly the same. It currently has it enabled as well. So any change, in fact, notice it says Contoso 2. That's because I haven't hit the F5. I'm going to hit F5 right now. And now, now just note it you see the Contoso 2. So those two servers are completely in sync with each other. So now what I want to do is I want to install a component and we'll find it here in this example. We'll go to is.net and it's the ARR helper and we'll just search for it here and it's referenced here at the top of this blog post. Okay, so this is a helper. It's a free add-in that's made not fully supported from Microsoft and it hasn't been updated in a while but it works perfectly for what we need and we'll cover this when we get to the ARR weeks uh, but today I just want to show how to do the install and it's an example of any type of application that you want to install so what I'm going to do in this case it's a 64 and so let's take this and I want to save it and we'll just save it to the machine I'll pause this for a second I'm going to save it to both machines Okay, so I've copied that back and forth between the two machines, and it's here. I can close that browser. So this is our target application that we want to install. Now, if I were to open this up and I run it, now I try to run it. We say I accept the terms and install, and oh, look at this. Shared configuration is enabled for IIS. Installing ARR helper for IS7 is not supported when using shared configuration. Please disable shared configuration before installing this. Now this is really good, and I'll tell you why. Like at first you're thinking, well, why didn't they support that? And the reason is, let's go back to our diagram. If we were to install this on Web 1, and that gets installed here on the shared configuration, and actually let's go back here into Visio, and with this connector let's join these three together because we're using DFS to keep these in sync, these green ones. And so if we made a change to this first one, that's immediately going to be on these other nodes, but they're not going to have the DLLs installed in their local Windows folder or program files, wherever it's installed. And then all of a sudden you can start having errors. These ones are going to start crashing. So you need to make sure that you do it correctly, and we'll cover how to do that shortly. Okay, so we say, okay, fair enough. Let's now do the install. So we need to plan this out. How are we going to do this install so that we don't overwrite anything, we don't do it in the wrong order, we don't lose the configuration, and a stale configuration doesn't get used? And so let's plan this out here with this Visio diagram. And we can see we have three nodes in this example. And actually, I only have two servers online, but I figured I could show any combination. And currently, we're on this green one, which is a C, INET, PUB, IS, share config, is where the configuration is set up for each and DFS is keeping those three folders in sync. So what we can do, and there's a few ways to tackle this, and you just have to write down in advance the order that you're going to do it, but the way that I want to tackle it, and it works well, is we're going to take this one out of share config. What we're going to do instead is let's 
we'll take it out of config so this one would become green and then this one will become gray and it's going to run from here so this even though it's still in sync is not going to get used and as you take it out of configuration and we'll see when we do it it says do you want to copy the configuration from here which is an up-to-date one because this one was stale do you want to copy it from here back to here and we'll say yes so then we're going to have an up-to-date configuration now be careful that no other administrators yourself included are making any changes to the other nodes during this because now you have a disconnected config and it's possible that it could become stale if someone were to make that change during this time that you're doing the the upgrade and so you want to lock it just sign it out okay so as soon as it's here now we can do the install and now what we're going to see is rather than green what color should we pick here how about um, let's do this ye yellow I guess and so what we have is an updated configuration sitting here that's completely up to date but if we were to push this back here that's going to get replicated and it's going to mess up these machines which don't have the install on their local machine the config may be right but not the C program files location is going to be out of date so now what we're going to do is let's do the same thing to these next nodes we're going to take this one here and we're going to take it out of configuration and we're going to uh, it becomes live green and then what we'll do is we'll do the update and so then that's going to become yellow and we'll do the same to this third one and let me pause it for a second it'll look like this okay so now we're going to have three configurations now what we want to do is push these back again now notice if we were to at this point take this one here and move it up to here we're not going to hurt any other server because they're all out of rotation so this one we're going to do an export not just pointing to it we're going to export it over and as soon as we export this like this then the other ones will immediately it's going to replicate over to these ones even though you haven't done anything to those servers yet okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this one off it becomes gray it's stale from now on and we're going to make this one live here like so and then same thing is going to happen to these other ones there and once that's done it's going to be complete so you can see the process that we're going to do we're going to do an export here we'll copy the config we'll do the install then we'll take these ones out of rotation do the install on one only we'll do the export it back again and then we'll uh, that will replicate it and then the other ones we just add it back to the shared config and we should be good to go so now that we have our plan in place let's actually do the work and really we could write this out in fact let's do so um, let me just take a minute and write out the plan as well so we're going to do web01 take out a rotation web01 install web02 take out a rotation Then we're going to do web01 export to shared config location and then web01 add to shared config and we do the same to 02 and 03. So here's our action plan that we're going to write out. So let's actually do it. So we'll go to node 1 which is DC and we're going to take it out of rotation according to our instructions we're going to say apply it says do you want to copy this configuration back so basically retain the latest so we're going to say yes done now notice we would have taken this out of rotation with the load balancer I'm not covering the load balancer part of it in this demo that's for another time and so now we can do the install and we install it it's done that's all there is to it 
and so you, you can follow what step we're at right now. The install has been done, the nodes are out of sync, this one is not currently live because it potentially could have had a bit of downtime during that install and we are still living in, let me go back to the Visio, we're now living in this configuration right here. Okay, and now we'll move on to our next server. Okay, so this one here we're going to do the same thing. We'll take it out of rotation. Apply. We'll say yes to bring the latest. Although, you know what? It's not critical at this point unless you're running from it uh, because we're not going to be using this end config in the, the end. All we really care with the install is the file, the physical files on disk and not the IS configuration part. So now we go to where I put my download. run it and we've completed. Okay and we do the same thing with the third node. Now as soon as we've completed our three nodes, so let's look at our notes. So we have this has been completed. Let's put a C at the beginning. That's been completed. We take two out rotation and we'll pretend we did three. Now in one we're going to export the shared configuration and then we're going to sync them all back up. Okay. And so we'll go to our domain controller, and we want to do an export once. Now, we could do this manually if we wanted to, and this is what I covered in the tricks last week. We could just do some copies with the files, and that's completely legit, and actually I've done that many times, a kind of 50-50 as to which I prefer. But let's do it with the wizard. There's probably less room for error. Share config and the encryption key. I need to put a password that I will remember for at least five minutes and it's going to say we're going to override everything that's there and of course we double check ourselves we don't have anything production running okay so we're going to export that now we need to sync up to actually link it to use it and again I covered this a couple weeks ago but if you hadn't seen that then uh, that's why I make these comments here okay so we see so if you haven't seen that uh, then you can see. Uh, and notice here I'm not using any credentials and the reason for that is because I'm using the local uh, content. If you're using a UNC path it's different. Now I entered the encryption key that I just done and if, again look at the last couple lessons if you want a lot more details on this. And so that's backed up and it wants us to uh, do an IS reset which contrary to what I said in the first week is actually very important because administration.config isn't used until you do the IS reset. And now that one's added back into rotation. So let's go again to our notes. And this has now been completed. We did the export and we added one to share configuration. Now, here's where we have a bit of fun is last week I discovered something as I was recording the video. And we go into inet pub is share config let's delete this encryption key because all three nodes have already been added they don't need this encryption key anymore if we delete the encryption key the wizard gives us a new option which is helpful for us okay so now what we do is we're going to log into the other server here and we're going to say enable share config and we're going to go to inet pub and is share config and hit apply it gives us the warning it says the encryption keys are missing Do you want to continue we'll say yes and we'll say okay and okay to those prompts and just to follow instructions let's do an IS reset okay and we go into it and everything's working we've completed everything and the AR helper is installed and we can confirm it'll take me a couple minutes I don't need to confirm that and everything is back in play. Let's review our notes. So we now have node 2 and node 3 has been added. This is how you can do a staggered install in taking the IS share config out of rotation as you do this. There's never any downtime as long as with your load balancer you take the servers out of rotation as you're working and make sure that other administrators aren't making changes to those configurations otherwise it's stale for certain moments during this configuration. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this useful. And again, I hope you have a great week and tune in again next week. Thank you.